Hey everybody, this is Sean again. Um, all right, so <clears throat> back in uh 2012, I was uh I was at the Willis unit and um may have been 2011, but I was at the Willis unit and um uh, I ended up getting exposed to this material as far as UFOs. Now, prior to that, like I said, I had um. I had come from Islam already. I've been experiencing God and different things. Uh, I'd have met his presence before, you know. I had a euphoric experience in myself. I'm going to do a video on that one. Just so people can, uh, for those who don't understand already, just so they can, uh, they can hear this testimony. You see, because testimony is power. The Bible says, uh, and, they became, and they overcame by the word or their testimony, or that's the revelations. Um, testimonies are very powerful. And to hear another man's testimony, it can be beneficial to you because you can sit and say, well, hey, if God can do that for him, and he's no respect of persons, then, you know, I'm able to receive the same experience. So that's the whole point in trying to share the testimonies. And, um, and then, you know, for you to go through different things, you can always have that to recall on whenever you're going through something. Like if y'all seen my, uh, um, and everything is a test video. I was, I was really going through some, some, some really pressing times, but, um, uh, I was able to call back on what God had told me, you know, so there's definitely power in testimony. Amen. And, um, your experiences for yourself and for others. So, um, before I get into what I was trying to talk about as far as what I was exposed to, I, I really want to encourage you brothers and sisters to, it don't matter how you look or how you sound, just get over it. Put your stuff out, you know, share with the family because it's exciting to he hear and see. Um, and these things can be very, very helpful in these times. Um, I love to see the Obama dreams. It lets me know I'm not crazy. I, yeah, I have all these Obama dreams. I'm not the only one, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I be encouraged to get out there and put stuff out. You know, a lot of people be worrying about how they got different physical flaws. Oh, I don't want to go before the camera, you know. Or oh, I don't like the way I sound. I didn't either. And if y'all can tell the differences between my videos, some of my earlier ones, I kind of was nervous it was hard to address people because i know a lot of folks are gonna be looking at me and um <clears throat> and um and even out in the physical and even out here in the world you know not just on the internet you know at, you, you gotta get over it you just gotta get over it you know um, and i like to say i'm not ashamed at all i enjoy sharing my testimony i talk your head off if you want to go there you know you know and um, definitely. So, all right, back to what I was trying to talk about. I got exposed to this one movie, and um, the way the credits came on, uh, the way the introduction was, you know, and it's called The Fourth Kind. If you're not strong in the Lord, don't go trying to chase this movie down. If you know who you are in Christ, you know who Christ is to you, go for it, because it's good that you understand what's going on in this world. You know, um, and like I said in my last video, in regards to Brother Eric, you know, it's all about perspective, perspective, putting stuff into perspective. Because there's a lot of crazy realities, but you got to understand how it coincides with Christ, even if it's negative. One guy was trying to tell me about some miracles a certain sheik is doing. Uh, and I'm like, well, OK, I'll acknowledge that. Yeah, that's true. OK, he works these different little things. Do you understand that that's lying signs and wonders? Amen. The Bible says there'll be lying signs. And um, I think it says lying wonders too. But anyway, it's, it's all falsehoods. They work through demons. Just like magicians. Magicians got powers too. You know, if they can put a card in your pocket and they standing 10 feet away from you, that's not a trick. You know, you got something going on with you. And it makes it all the more easier to identify when they want to wear these 
I in the pyramid shirts and all these satanic symbols, you know, no wonder the magician don't want to tell how he does the trick. Because then he got to admit he played with devils. So anyway, you acknowledge all realities. If it's out there, you got to acknowledge it. You can't deny it. You got but you got to put it in perspective. So anyway, I was exposed to this movie, The Fourth Kind, and boy, did it mess my head up, you know. And the guard had to put me through some training with it. He was like, yep, you got to get this understood. And uh, prior to that movie, I didn't really never considered the whole UFO phenomenon. But so, like I said, the movie's a split-screen movie. You got a dramatization, and then you got uh, actual footage. And uh, so I was shook behind this movie. And then um, what happened was God ended up giving me, um, he placed a book in my in my dorm that it was sitting collecting dust. Nobody thought to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, nobody was reading it. And it was sitting in the corner. My memory served me correctly. I ended up getting it studying it and God bless my soul so much with this material. Thank God for whoever wrote it. The book is called The Omega Conspiracy. Um and then with that, God would also let me have um a dream in regards to UFOs to where I was able to more understand what what's going on. Um it definitely plays a part in the strong delusion. Um, which my opinion is that uh, the other part of the strong delusion goes with Obama and that people look at him and they see how good he is with talking and how, you know, smart he is or whatever. And you know, unfortunately, they, they're going to they're gonna let this man be back in power. You know, I don't know the ins and outs of how that will be, but I know it will be. And um, so... You know, perspective. Um, I, I have yet to... I was supposed to look it up if I made this video. But anyway, there is a Christian organization out there. And I'm going to put the uh, the video on the end screen of, of this video so you can see that um, it's actually going to be a playlist. So you can see more about this thing and how the name of Jesus affects it, affects these, these beings or whatever. Um, one, one quick testimony. I had, uh, I had this one dream where I was like in between sleep and woke. I can hear everybody in the dorm walking and talking, you know, shower shoes sliding across the floor, but my eyes was closed and, um, and so I was seeing in the spirit and this being was standing at the edge of my bed at my foot and he grabbed my toes and my life force just started coming out of my body. I feel like I was dying slowly. My heart rate started just mellowing out more and more, more and more. And I was like, man, I'm finna die. So what I did was I kicked it. I said, in the name of Jesus. And it flee. It ran. You know, that if that wasn't a UFO um, type dream. But nevertheless, it was an experience where... I had to attest to the fact that, hey, this is an entity, and I just made this sucker run. You know, I kicked at it saying the name of Jesus, and that joker flee really, really quickly out of my out of my sight. And um, my life force started coming back in, my energy and my heart rate went back normal, and I woke up. Um, that's, that's, that's the power of the name of Jesus, amen. Um, demons are one with UFOs and, and that they are to a certain extent UFOs. Um, but what's, what's, what's more is that it's my understanding that UFOs are not just demons and um, fallen angels, but also hybrid entities. You know, for all you people who are into the deeper things of the world, you know, cloning and whatnot. It's my belief that um they're taking fallen angel DNA um or they're taking um demons and letting them fill these bodies um somehow making these beings and then the beings they created whether it's the government or whether it's the fallen angels 
those are the aliens. You know, however you want to put it, whether they're fallen angels, demons, or hybrids, it's all in the same bag. They all susceptible to the name of Jesus. They all are under Christ. Every knee should bow. We're going to judge them jokers and whoop on them and all of that. So uh, don't be discouraged by that. And when you see something flying over your house, you know, as people, a lot of people catching these things on, on recordings, understand what it is. And uh, if you understand already, you need to go teach people or tell the people what it is because we want to pull them from darkness. You know, that's a strong delusion. That is the strong delusion. Um, I pray this video blesses y'all. And uh, Lord Jesus, I pray you had grace and mercy on us all. And um, I love y'all in Jesus' name. Amen.